To be fair, she would have either drowned or got carried away. Yeah, Core did the main character jump, where the main character jumps an impossible distance and they survive it because they're the main character. <laughs> but yeah, good point. She would have been dead if Core didn't save her. In actuality. Hey, die? Oh, never mind, I've been stone blasted. Okay, stop that. Stop? Can I move? Nice game. I'm, I'm talking about how much I love the combat and I just got stun locked, which is the worst time to be saying, hey, I love the combat. <laughs> you won't let Wanderlusters down. I guess a debt is a debt. Didn't take her long to grind you down. And this is neat. I like a nest so far. Soulful Whale looks sick. We need more TC on the Ness ASAP, though. I only have two TC, which means I can only chain two arts. Should probably look at her Soma and see if we have some points lying around. <laughs> not even close, not even close to close, and whatever it was, Beryl said. Alright, that one was pretty funny, too. Dude, I wish these were English dub. I really wish this game had a dub. Again, not a flaw necessarily, but it's just such a missed opportunity. I just wish this game had a dub so badly. I would laugh even more if they had dubs. Anyway. Look at this Kalan, just kind of like spread yourself out a bit. We don't have as much points as I thought we did. Oh, never mind. You guys have a lot. Pull up mental, mental energy. It fires off a powerful piercing arrow. That sounds cool. Kind of just work towards it. This is wind elemental damage at 10%. That's amazing. You know what? Honestly, put, put all your points in that. And probably start working towards Swirling Peacock. I gotta remember that I should just put points to stats because it increases stats. I always forget. I'm focused more on the skills that I forget that doing the SVP does stats too. So I should just like speed cast I want immediately. Spread Tales of Classic. I gotta remember this like increases stats. So I should just do use all my points because it's gonna help. Otong Conductor. I'm gonna spread out right now and we'll see what I wanna grab. Give me Photon Conductor, or at least get me close to it. Or it could be relatively spread out. Last but certainly not least, Gaul. Automatically executes a, a chase dash after executing a brick deck. What's a chase dash? Chat, is a chase dash the thing that transports me to the enemy? Is that what just instantly teleports me to the enemy? I think it is, but I want chat to confirm. Okay. Oh, I didn't set your skills yet. Um, Counter Strike, Magic Guard. I'll take Combo Tonic. Ooh, you have an Exceed. Let's get it. I would take Exceed in a heartbeat, and I'll take Blunt Force. All right, that works out. Extra points. Ow. Ow. 
Dominique. You mean Chase Link? What was it? Hang on. Chase Link? Is that what it was? No, Auto Dash. It says Chase Dash. It says Chase Dash. Chase Link might be a thing, but I think Chase Dash is what it's called. We're gonna get it eventually though, so like I don't need an answer immediately, but just just curious if that's what it is. That's a move that goes to the ground, which is nice. Those two moves literally do the same thing. I bit my tug. Sometimes Barrel can be funny, but for the most part, I just want to die. Dude, I don't get what Barrel's deal is. She like... Because she says, bit my tug. Clearly, that's a pun for bit my tongue. Yeah. Why? Like, I don't get- sometimes I don't get her puns. I know she tries to make puns for things, but sometimes I don't, like, understand what the pun is a pun of, you know? Like, I would say 70% of the time I don't understand her- Like, what word- what word she replaces. If that makes sense. Sometimes Beryl, you know, can get her job done, but for the most part, you know. I think someone in chat said it. Someone in chat said that, like, she's both the most annoying and the funniest character. I can kind of see it. She's been more annoying than she's been funny, but she's had, like, one, maybe two. I'd probably say one moment where she's funny, but, you know. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna like a Ness a lot more as a funny comic relief character than Barrel. We'll see when we play the game. It's got its own puzzle to it because we got these like red teleporter thingies. Yo, Solo Tiger, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. She's your favorite character? <laughs> yeah, I'm only nine hours in the game, so you know. Favorite? Doubt it. Will she grow on me? Yeah, probably. We'll see. She could probably grow on me. I don't think she'll be my favorite, though. I think so far my favorite's either Gull or Hisui. Or a Ness, honestly. I really like Gull so far, and Hisui, Hisui's fine. He grew on me a little bit, and a Ness we just got. But so far, I feel like I'm gonna like a Ness a lot. So I would probably say a Ness and Gaul are like my top two. Hisui has grown on me. I didn't like Hisui in the beginning, but now Hisui's pretty, pretty neat. We're only like now nine hours in the game though, so looking forward to when um. Core's fine. I like Core. I don't dislike Core. Oh, they call him Shing in another game? Interesting. I... Core's not like, you know, he's fine. I don't hate him, but he's not like my favorite. I bit my tug. Is Shing like a localization error or something? Uh, I don't. I want to keep leveling up. I don't want to use the holy bottle yet. Oh, you played the DS version? He's called Shing? Mm, okay. Die. The dolphin kick. 
Just like what Tifa Lockhart does. Favorite characters, Kohaku? I feel like Kohaku fits into the archetype that I like. I like um the archetype. Like I like Sophie in Tales of Graces and Lafay Set in Tales of Berseria, like the Moloch Lafay Set, not Velvet's brother. So I think the the archetype for Kohaku is something I go for. So in theory, yeah, I guess I might like Kohaku. But hear me out. We're so early in the game, and I feel like Kohaku. It's kind of hard to really like say I like Kohaku now. I'm looking forward to when we get most of her fours back. Yo, that was sick, by the way. I'm looking forward to when we get more of her fours back and she really starts to open up. Because let's be real, Kohaku's, like, fine. But right now, she's a plot device. <laughs> I do look forward to when we get farther in the game and she becomes, like, a character. So I feel like I'll like Kohaku a good bit because I like the archetype of, like, hey, this person is, like, a... Uh, I'm a sucker for it, like the Vessel or the Blank Slate character gets to learn more about life and whatever. I'm just a sucker for it. Lunar 2 has uh, Lucia. They do really well with Lucia, even though I have uh, mixed opinions on her as well. And then Persona 5 Strikers did Sophia. I think they did her pretty well. Not amazing, but they did her pretty well. So I do like that archetype. So I'm looking forward to when I get to see more of Kohaku. Shawl and period dot? Dude, I can't wait for getting Shawl. He's gotta be a party member. Like, honestly, I don't want chat to say, yes, you'll get him then. Like, don't tell me when I'll get him. He's gotta be a party member, though. They gave me him for a boss temporarily. I can't wait to get Shawl as a party member. I'm gonna love. I can already see I'm gonna love his character. Period dot? I don't really like it right now, but you know, you, maybe it'll maybe it'll change again. We're so early in the game. If Barrel can grow on me, then Kyria Dope can, I guess. But so far, I wasn't really a uh, fan of her. Oh my goodness, so much stuff in chat. I'm trying to keep up. When the game got localized, they became core. I don't know the reason why. Ah. JRPGs, Tales of does that. JRPGs specifically do that. It happens. Tales of, Tales of Fantasia. I think Crest was called Kless and Klaus was called Klarth in Tales of Fantasia. Tales of Fantasia had a lot of localization errors. Like there were a lot of different names. So, you know, Tales of is not really a stranger to it. Oh, don't worry about the wall of text. It's fine. <laughs> it, it gets me. It's hard to read it on time because that's a wall of text. I can't read it while I'm fighting a battle, but I am totally fine with text of any length. <laughs> I remember this great moment from the DS version. I was fighting one of the bosses. They did their mystic art. The first two hits connect, but I somehow fell out of the mystic art. They continued to take no damage. Oh, that's wild. I can't wait to see mystic arts in this game. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'm, I'm, as long as he doesn't say what boss and as long as it doesn't say what Mystic Art, it's like fine. I even told chat, like, if something slips, it's whatever. Honestly, I don't really see how you could be spoiler with a Mystic Art unless you were to tell me when I get them or if I saw a video. Telling me the name of Mystic Art is gonna be nothing. If someone's like, oh, Core's Mystic Art is called this. It's it's gonna be nothing. But I do appreciate that you guys are being vague. I appreciate that. Because this is a blind playthrough, so as vague as possible is perfect. But letting the name of Mystic Art slip is not gonna be the end of the world. Plus, Tales of games sometimes share the names of Mystic Arts. Like, what if, uh, you never know, Core might have a Mystic Art that, like, Yuri has, or Luke, or something. Just an example. All right, we're finally in a new area. This, uh, this Spiria maze was relatively, I don't want to say confusing. It wasn't as straightforward as the others, though, which is interesting. Now, <laughs> 
You know, I'm wondering where this is gonna rank in my Tales games. It's gonna be so... Like... It's hard to rank my favorite franchise because, like, you know, it feels like I'm putting some lower than they should be, and then people are like, oh, why'd you put that one that low? And I'm like, dude, it's my favorite franchise, and I just got so many games I like. As much as I'm liking Hearts, I doubt it will take top five. And that's gonna, and people are gonna be like, hey, didn't you really like the game? And like, yeah, I do, but like, you know, I just like Grace's Berseria, Arise, Zillia, and Symphonia more. I just highly doubt it's gonna be a top five because I just really like my top fives are just like I love them so much. I would say at best hearts can be a sixth place. For that, it would have to beat out Vesperia and Abyss and Destiny Director's Cut and Zestiria. Which it's not hard to beat out Zestiria, Zillia 2, Fantasia, or Eternia. Beating out Vesperia and Abyss. Slightly challenging. <laughs> Die. Dude, I like Anessa's gameplay. I like her weapon. Very cool. Top fives are Vesperia, Symphonia, Graces, Abyss, Berseria. That's that's a solid top five. Honestly. As long as your as long as your top fives don't have Zillia two, I mean, Zillia two is like not an awful game. But as long as it doesn't have like Zestiria or something, like I like Zestiria, but it's 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 one of the weaker games. Like I would not, I would be like, why would you have this in your top five? As long as you don't have Zestiria in your top fives, or probably even Zillia two, then then um. Your top fives are respectable, honestly. Or the game we don't speak of, which is Symphonia C, which isn't even a mainline game, but... As long as you don't have, like, those two on your top fives, then very respectable. My top fives are... Number five is Symphonia. I love Symphonia. I don't think the Symphonia combat is amazing, but I love the story and the characters of Symphonia. And that's always my priority in the game, so... Symphonia is number five. Gameplay's still fun. I love Symphonia's gameplay still. I wouldn't say I love it. I like Symphonia's gameplay. But what the selling point of that game is the characters in the story. And the antagonist. I really like the way uh, the antagonists work in that game. So, that's the selling point of Symphonia for me. Combat's a good, but it's not amazing. Definitely not my favorite combat style. Number four is Zillia. I like Zillia. And then number three, I don't know actually, because... Zillia and the Rise are like basically tied. No, I don't know if I like Zillia more than the Rise. I think I like... I really like Zillia's characters. The Rise was also pretty good. So Zillia, probably number four. Zillia, yeah, Zillia number four. Arise number three. Number two would be Berseria. And then number one is Graces. That is my order. And then I think... I think I like Vesperia more than Abyss. I don't think that's safe to say because I played Abyss once and that was a while ago. I don't like Vesperia's story very much, but I do like the characters a good bit, and the combat system is, like, good. It's not one of my favorite combat systems, but I do like Vesperia's combat, but it's got some things in it that I'm like, eh, like, not bad, but I like other Tales combats more, but I still like Vesperia, so Vesperia would probably be a number six? Number seven? I don't know. Although Abyss does have good characters in the story, too, so it's hard. Abyss and Vesperia are basically tied in IMO.